TC, I've forgotten how many weeks we are into lockdown, but it's been a long time and it seems like every day is the same. But um, how have you been getting along? How's everything been? I couldn't agree more with what you just said. Um, yeah, it's been it's been okay. I think I, I think the hardest part was the first few weeks of uh, adjusting to everything that's that's happening and um, yeah, watching telly and not really knowing what the the final outcome is going to be or how long this is going to last for. But I think it's got a little bit easier as as the weeks have gone on. Um, I think it's helped that we've got a bit of a, a training program going on at the minute, a bit of a fitness program that gives you some some sort of structure to your days but yeah apart from that I'm I'm doing all right a Tuesday feels like a Saturday a Wednesday feels like a Friday Friday feels like halfway through Sunday has the the fact that you have this fitness regime and the things that you need to do in case football comes back has that helped you kind of have a routine uh, I only know when it's Thursday because everyone starts clapping. <laughs> that's how I know my time. That's how I know my weeks. Oh, it's Thursday, eight o'clock. Um, but yeah, no, I think definitely. I think weekends are definitely not the same. Saturdays don't feel like Saturdays, as you said. But um, now we've got a little bit of a regime, and um, Monday to Friday, a little bit of work and a sweat on and stuff. It, it, I think it helps you mentally. I'm sure the nation is probably doing a little bit of the same, getting out of the house and getting a little bit of a fitness thing as well, because I think, um, yeah, it definitely helps at a time like this. How's, how's, how's your family going? How's everything at home? How's your well, the little, the little man started walking, which is even harder now inside the house, because you have to be around him all the time because he keeps falling over and we've got a few hard floors and stuff. But um, no, we're doing all right. It's, it's, I suppose it's looking in some ways that I never get the chance to spend this long at home. Obviously, there's a lot of travelling and football training. Um, and stuff like that so I'm fortunate in that way and I've been out in the back garden trying to get a kick a ball and I was walking but it's not really happening which is yeah I'm getting a little bit mad up but he'll, he'll get there are you, are you feeding back the steps are you adding that onto your workout in terms of chasing around the house with his walking <laughs> are you adding that <laughs> no I, me I mentioned it to the fitness coach but he's not really been uh, sympathetic to, to me I, I sat in on one of those bike sessions Last week, I think it was. I mean, it seemed it seems pretty rigorous what you guys are going through. Um, uh, just sum up your emotions towards those walk bike sessions. I don't like the walk bike at all, um, but it's it's needed. Um, I think I think with technology these days, it's good that we can all like get on a bit of a screen and 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 kind of race each other, which is brings the competitive edge back. It's it definitely comes out straight away. Um, but yeah, it's good to get a blast, good to get a sweat on. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the bike at all. I mean, some some of those people in that session. I mean, Tim Ream, Stephen Session, Bobby Reed, they were they were crushing it. But also, Marek Rodek, dark dark horse with regards to the bike session. Yeah, it's his long legs. It's his, I don't know. Is he's generating generating some power? He's got um, yeah, he's brilliant on the bike. To be fair, and um, there's a few others. But I think as the weeks go on, there's the people getting taking it really serious and eating some really good time so yeah it's, it's it's hard to keep up and and what's what other things do you do in terms of fitness during the week do you do jogs runs what what, what else do you do um yeah we've got runs we we're doing like 5k challenges we're doing um some high intensity high intensity running as well like short distance uh, turning uh, i did a pilates session this morning um with with one of the physios to just make sure everything's still switched on and stuff like that. Because, you I, you know, everything's up in the air. You never know when we're going to be back. So I think it's important that um, when we do get that message or that call, hopefully, that, that things might go back to normal, that we've got to try and be as ready as possible because we might not have a long a long pre-season, pre a couple of weeks pre-season until we, until we go back into the games. And, and with regards to you being club captain, there are other responsibilities, aren't there, in terms of... Keeping an eye on the squad, making sure everyone's okay. Uh, yeah, we have a group chat and we we speak a little bit um, every every few days, probably. Uh, my battery just gone close, um, but yeah, it's I think it's important to just, just stay in contact and, and make sure everyone's doing okay. Which it, it seems they are at the minute, but I think everyone just shares the same the same feeling as in the missing football. And the manager, he's been keeping in contact with you guys, making sure you're all good. Yeah, he sends us a weekly message, and I think every every weekend, every Sunday, he sends us an update for the coming week. Um, but I think he's, he's he's really understanding as well. He understands that like it's you know, it's a tough time, and health is first, and we have to listen to the people above us who make them decisions. Because you know what I mean, I think when football does come back, it will definitely lift the nation. I think everyone's missing something. I think everyone 
well, missing something on telly, especially in, in live sport. Um, it's not the be all and end all at all. There's much more important things which need to be sorted first. But I think if we do manage to get our, our game back, then it will give everyone such a big lift. I mean, you, you referenced there about this, the bigger picture. I mean, some of the fine work that's been done, it puts it in perspective, doesn't it? When you're sitting at home, that there are people out there putting their lives at risk to help others, right? Yeah, massively. I mean, <laughs> we're sat at home and there's literally people on the on the on the front line, um, just doing unimaginable things. Really, just getting people getting people better, getting people healthier, but at the same time risking their life doing it. I can't really comprehend what they're going through, and then they go home at night time to their own families, put their head on the pillow, not knowing if they're if they caught something or given it to their own family and then do, going back the next day and doing the same thing to the new people. It's just, it's it's actually crazy. And um, I don't think there's a lot we can do or a lot we can say to, to say thank you. But yeah, from me and the whole of Fulham Football Club, like, um, yeah, we're in, we're in awe of what you're doing. Uh, on, a, on a lighter note, what, what, what have you been watching in terms of, you talk about watching Netflix, what have you been watching? Ozark season three. Flames. I'm, I see. I, I was I was totally unaware of Ozark as a thing, and I've started season one. It gets me too tense. There's too many. And, it, and it's very dark. Don't you think the picture's really dark? Yeah, yeah. The, the, it's shot so dark that you can't help but enter into that dark world. But it's also the fact that everybody's after him. And then another episode, some other guys introduced who doesn't who's chasing after him as well. So there's no there's no relaxing. No, you need to you need to stay with it. Honestly, season three is good. Mm. Um. What else did I watch? What's been out recently? I swear I've watched, I've watched some other things. So I've, had, I've had so much time. Um, what was it? Everyone watched Tiger King. Tiger King. Of course it's Tiger King. How? Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely did it, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she fed into the lines in the Tigers. <laughs> it's not sure. Yeah. But... Uh, if you were to say one thing that you miss about football, what is it? Um, I think just the. I think everyone will say the same. I think just the the day to day banter, really, just being around the boys, uh, physio rooms, the dressing room, breakfast. I think it's just. I think you miss. I think you miss that the most. Obviously, you miss playing football, but I think just. You realise how fortunate you are to be around a group of 20, 25 year old boys and every day and just having, having a laugh and, and doing something that you love. You definitely take it for granted. Obviously, we moan day in, day out about what we're doing, but um, yeah, looking looking back now with how good it was, I just hope it returns back soon. Cheers, TC. No worries at all. <laughs>